Hey there, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here to show my third alternate to the Delicate Wings Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is the one we got in April of 2024. Here's the card that I'm going to show you. And we're just going to use the three little butterflies from the kit. We're going to start with an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of basic white. Score it at four and a corner or fold it in half. Burnish on your fold real good. I have a five inch by three and three quarter inch piece of basic white that I ran through the Dahlia embossing folder. You can run it through any embossing folder that works for you, that you have on hand. And we're going to go ahead and adhere that to the front of our card. Two. Oops. I'm trying to center it on there the best that I can. It should be about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Stick that down real good. Um, I like to take my brayer these days and run it over to help the glue adhere, especially when I'm using um, embossing folders. I got a little spot right here that's not sticking. Put a little glue on it. And the um, brayer helps to disperse the glue out underneath there real well. So we've got those two layers ready to go then we're going to take another piece of basic white that is five and a half inches across by one and a half inches tall and we are going to take some moody mauve ink and i'm just going to stamp from the kit sending loving thoughts your way And then I've got some ribbon here, Lost Lagoon, uh, let's see what it calls it, Bordered Ribbon. It's retired, I believe. I don't know what where it came from, to be honest, so um, I'm not even going to try. And, and it might not even be retired, but I'm thinking it is, and I've never used it, so there's always that possibility that it's not. I'm going to put some of my red tape along the bottom just to hold down. I'm going to put it around to the back just to hold it in place, the, um, the ribbon in place. Let me put another little piece on this side just so that it stays where we want it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Let me start here. I'm going to peel it down, but not, not going to take it all the way off. I want a little bit hanging over on the end. And I'm going to put the ribbon to the bottom of the white. And I want a little bit to hang over on this end as well so I can wrap it around the back and stick it. Stick it like that. Then we are going to put some glue on it. And we're going to glue this onto the front, kind of sort of right about the middle. Whatever looks good to you. I'm going to stick that down right there a little bit. Make sure that it's going to adhere. I'll put a little more glue in there. Make sure that's going to stick in place. 
There we go. Doesn't always like to stick when there's ribbon. I think the glue gets soaked into the ribbon. Okay. So now we have our ribbon on there. And then I have taken a one and three eighths inch piece of basic gray and punched a circle or it was basic gray and I used a one and three eighths inch circle punch. Then I got Lost Lagoon and I used the one and a quarter inch punch. And then I have Moody Mauve, I used a one inch punch. So I'm just going to pop those up with dimensionals onto the card front. Like so. And then we're just going to place them around on the front. Where's my, so then I got my little gray butterfly. I'm gonna put a dimensional on his wing. I'll put a little ink on the other, or glue on the other wing, and I'm going to kind of have him flying off a little bit like that. I forgot to take the paper off. Then we'll do the same thing with the Lost Lagoon piece. Try to decide which side of the design I want to show. We'll go with this side. Then we're just going to kind of stick that over this way a little bit. And I got the little Lost Lagoon butterfly. And we're just going to glue him onto the circle like that. You could put a dimensional underneath it if you want to like stabilize the stabilize the butterfly from flopping around kind of thing. You could also put a little bit of glue under here. So that the two pieces can stick together like that. Then we're going to do the same thing with our mauve piece. We're going to stick a couple little dimensionals on the back of it. Stick it off to the side. I want to go up a little bit more with it. And then go ahead and do the same thing with the little mauve butterfly. Put a dimensional under his wing. Put a little bit of glue. And then we're going to have him flying over here. And on my sample, I did go ahead and put some Wink of Stella in the centers of the butterfly, just to give them a little extra something something. Um, and I just, I'll go ahead and do it again. I just kind of painted where the darker color was at. not too heavy. I didn't do the whole thing. I just wanted to give a little feeling of shimmer to his, just to the wings. That darker spot in that, that's all that I did. And you can sort of kind of maybe see it in there. There we go. And that is it. You can go ahead and put a greeting on the inside if you want. Um, I just figured this is a good one just to um, write the message because it's a card that could be used for a variety of things. So stay tuned. I'll be back for the final card.